This video will show you how doing less can actually get you more, the Charmin Ultra, the Law of Attraction, and I'm gonna share with you how to do that in this video. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. Now this is the first ever brand deal I have ever done. This is a brand deal with Charmin Ultra, less is more. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't believe I said that with a straight face. Anyways, this video is going to be on how to do less but get more. Now normally, probably three or four months ago, I wouldn't have wanted to make this video. I was so strung out on my ego of wanting to be this guy that just works so hard, and that was what I really identified with, that I could probably never have made this video. But I have since then realized the importance of certain ideas within the Law of Attraction that are new ideas that I don't think you've really heard that much before. I shared it in a prior video, which got amazing response from you guys, and it seems like you guys wanted to know more about that idea. And it has to do with lessening the degree of importance that we give to anything we want to attract in our life, which is a lot of times counterintuitive to teachings by Abraham Hicks, which is all about like the desire, you must desire it, desire it. And I'm gonna say now that I don't necessarily uh, follow that anymore. I have a new perspective. I believe that is a whole totally new paradigm for doing things. Now, realize first off, you have to do what works for you. Depending on our own belief system, that will self-perpetuate what does and doesn't work. Now, you can believe that desire does work and maybe you can get that to work for you. But I am now proposing a higher perspective, a new process for going about things that I think can transform your life. And the only reason I said that is because I've been applying this in my own life and I've been seeing amazing results. So everything that I share, make sure you try it for yourself. See if it works for you. I'm just giving you ideas of things that's currently working for me and if it works for you, then that is great and if not, then maybe it's a little bit different way that it does. Realize we're working with different belief systems and we're working with different uh, you know, thought patterns so it will change from person to person. But in general, if you apply what I'm about to share with you, I think it can completely transform your life. Now. This has to do with understanding the difference, first off, between desire and intention. Now, desire is normally thought of as something as a good thing with the law of attraction. However, I no longer think that it really is because desire is an emotion and a feeling that is reaffirming that in the present moment, you don't already have what you want. Because if I desire right now to have something specific into my life, then what I am saying is that desire, that feeling is saying, I don't already have it because it's over there and it's not here right now. So what this means is that desire is actually negating me from experiencing that in my life because I'm not resonating with that desire. There's a very, di there's a very different resonance with I have something right now versus I want something right now. Now because of that, the key to transcending this and the key to going to a higher paradigm has to do with transmuting the desire into intention. Now, I used this as an example in the, one of the last videos I did. If I have a desire right now to put up my hand, that does absolutely nothing because it's not translated into intention. I can have a desire all I want, but if I don't actually do anything, guess what? It's not actually transferred into anything important or meaningful. Now, the moment I transfer that desire into an intention, my arm will go up. That's why intention is what you want to focus on. Desire, you don't want it. You want intention. Now here's the thing, is many times people have desire and then that propels them to take action. That's great. That is one of the ways that you dissipate desire, is you take action. So if you find that you have a really strong desire to get something into your life, realize that what you can begin to do is to take action. That can be one of the most powerful things you do because in the action, you are letting go of excess potential. Now, excess potential means excess importance. It's any time that we say something is so important in our life, we then immediately distance ourselves from it. It is so important that I attract that relationship into my life. The moment you do that is the moment it becomes over here because it's so important. You put it on a pedestal. And I used this analogy in the last video as well. There's someone that you like and you put them on a pedestal, guess what? You're not gonna be able to connect to them because they're gonna feel that. Anytime someone is running from you, or anytime you are chasing someone, it means that they're also running from you. So think about that and understand that a lot of times, the people that are able to get what they want in life, the people that are able to attract a lot of money into their life, they may like money, they may like the things that money brings, however, 
they may not be making it just such a huge deal. And if they are making it a huge deal, they're also feeling resistance in the present moment and they're not really enjoying themselves. So with that being said, it's important to understand the leveraged action we can take and it's important to understand how to create from a neutral point of view. I have been doing this, I'll tell you, for like the last two or three weeks now and it works amazing. And what you do is you learn how to more of observe your thoughts, you learn that your goals, the things that you think that you want in your life, they can't, you, when you think of them, you can't always think that they're going to bring you this ecstatic feeling of some type of like emotion, right? If you think that when you get something in your life, it's going to make you feel so different than what you are and you're feeling right now, then you're putting a high expectation on it. You're putting excess meaning and potential and excess importance on it. And therefore it's not, most likely not going to happen. You have to get to a place to where your goals are going to feel comfortable. It is natural for you to feel those and to go along that process because that's just who you are. Otherwise it becomes something that's just, it's too outside and it's too distance from you. The, this is about more of observing your points of view, observing these, le these different things. And from that observation point of view, choosing the next course of action, choosing to go along the process. So, when you're able to do less and get more, it's about being able to create from an observation point of view, from not giving anything excess meaning, excess potential, or excess importance. And the easiest way to do that is to realize that you are okay either way. It's not the end of the world if you don't manifest what you want, and it's not the beginning of a whole new life if you do. It's just the natural next step. The next step on your journey is to create and choose what you want. And you choose what you want through the choices that you make in your life, obviously. But at the same time, by not thinking that anywhere other than where you are right now is better than where you are. So this is why observation is so powerful. Because when you learn how to observe your thoughts, you start to disassociate with all of that energy, the resistance and anything else. And you start to then create from a much more powerful place. So begin to pay more attention to the desire you have and to understand that if you do have desire, it's okay. I recommend that if you do have desire to then start to take action. Take action because action will dissipate that excess importance you are giving it. And as you dissipate that, you are then able to consciously create your own reality. Now here comes another point of this. The exception to desire is passion. Now it's not really an exception, but think about it. If you're passionate about what you're doing, you're immersed into the moment and you're immersed into the process. I'm passionate about sharing these ideas with you. I'm passionate about making these videos. So I'm not doing these videos to get me over there because I'm not here already. I'm not doing these videos to get me to a million subscribers. I'm doing these videos because I love to do it. And a side effect of that is subscribers coming in, is explosive growth. That's a side effect of an energetic type expression. So start to see the goals that you have in your life as not so much to get you anywhere else, but more so something that you actually enjoy doing. And as you tap into that level of passion, it starts to carry with it a very potent type energy. It starts to carry with it things that just continue to happen for you. And it's because you're immersed in the moment that things will really begin to change. So you will be able to do less with the law of attraction by doing what you are passionate about. That's why it's so important. So many people think that they're passionate about making a million dollars. What does a million dollars really mean to you? If you were to tally up the cost of the paper of what it takes to make a million dollars, so say I have like 15 pounds of paper or whatever, however much it is of a million dollars, that paper itself is worth a hundred dollars, is around a hundred dollars. But the meaning we give that million dollars is so high, we put it at such a big importance and because we do that, we immediately think it's something that's unattainable and it's something that's hard to accomplish. But that's not even what you want anyways. Do you really want a million dollars or a hundred dollars worth of paper? No, you want what a million dollars can get you. You want the freedom that comes with a million dollars, the ability to travel, the status, whatever it is. I'll tell you, it's not just the, it's not the million dollars that you really think you want. Now here's the thing is people focus on the million dollars and the million dollars isn't the goal. 
the million dollars is a natural byproduct of the energy and the value you bring other people. So they're focused on the wrong thing. And that's why the moment you start to change this is the moment it can change your life and that's where really doing less will get you much more. People have to do so much to make that much kind of money because they're focused on the wrong thing. They're focused on the symptoms instead of the cause. And what I encourage you to do is to become more aware of this excess meaning we give things, the excess importance we give things, and anytime we do that, we distance ourselves from it. Come at it from a higher level of awareness, from more presence. Start to observe your thoughts. Consciously decide what you're thinking. Know that as you do that, things will really begin to change. Know that as you do that, you're going to create from a much higher point of view. And don't take my word for it. Practice it for yourself. That is what I've been doing. That's why I'm teaching some of these more esoteric, non uh, common ways of understanding the law of attraction, even though people would much rather, uh, they've heard Abraham Hicks for a long time, they've heard a lot of this thing that desires the best thing ever, so I'm kind of going against the grain here, but I've tried it in my own life. It's a higher level paradigm, higher level perspective, not that I'm better than Abraham Hicks or anything, I still think there's a lot of value there. However, what I'm saying is that if you practice this, I think you'll see that it can really work for you that doing less, you will get more because you're not giving excess meaning to anything. You're not taking too, like resistant action. You learn how to take aligned action. And that as you do that, things will really begin to change for you. Now, the other part of this is understanding that our subconscious mind is running most of our life experience. And that even beyond the subconscious mind, we have our vibrational state of being. And that when we learn how to transcend our levels of vibration of how we feel in the present moment, everything will begin to change. And that's why I've created a free MP3 guided meditation that you can listen to that will help you raise your vibration and it will help you see things from a higher point of view and to tap into that state of being. When you get to this higher level vibrational state of being, things you want to create in your life come much easier than they do if you're trying to control anything than they do from the lower level paradigm of trying to desire or get. So that's why I've created this MP3. You can download it in the description box. It's absolutely free. And just remember that you are powerful. You can create the life that you want. Neutralize all of these. Make sure that you're not giving anything excess meaning. Create it from an observation point of view, from a level of awareness. And that as you begin to do that, everything will begin to change. So. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit that little notification gear so that you guys can see the daily vids that I do. And other than that, as always, I will see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love, and namaste.